Oh, I hear the ringtone. That's uh, the My Radio Show hotline. This guy played safety in the NFL 13 seasons in the 80s and 90s. He was drafted by the St. Louis slash Phoenix Cardinals in 1987 out of USC. He is a six-time Pro Bowler, a Super Bowl champion, did it with the 49ers, had 40 career interceptions. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim McDonald on my radio show. Hey, Tim, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good, Rick. How are you doing? Long Not, time no here. Been a long time, Tim. Listen, uh, <laughs> it's training camp, and, and do your bones start hurting this time of year? I know it's been a long time since you were in training <laughs> camp, but do you still feel it in your bones this time of year? Oh, boy, this was a dreadful time of year. This was a dog day time. But you know what? In my position right now, it's pretty exciting. It's a lot more fun when you're watching it from the outside, isn't it? A whole lot more fun. Yeah. Yes, it is. Listen, <clears throat> you probably remember high school football like I did. We, we had something called Hell Week, and that's where you'd go out for two or three weeks. You'd have two-a-day practices. Guys were throwing up. They were passing out. But be straight with me, Tim McDonald. <laughs> NFL camps these days are more like a resort spa, aren't they? I wouldn't say that. No? No, they're still they're tough? Yeah? No, 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 they're, they're not. You know, as a player and a coach, this is a time of year where you get a lot of older guys contemplating retirement, <laughs> younger guys wondering if this, did they choose the right profession. This is a tough time of year. No matter who you are, it's hot, you know, you're worried about a, a numerous things, and mainly – you know, getting injured, uh, uh, you know, you're always an injury away from, from ending your career. So it's, it's a tough time of year. You know, there's a lot of guys want to skip a couple of these weeks and try to get to the regular season, but this is definitely a tough time of year, but it's a necessary time. Yeah, it's important. All right, let me rattle off some names. Dennis Thurman, Ronnie Lott, Joey Browner, all of them safeties at USC. Tell me the truth. Was Tim McDonald the best safety to ever come out of USC? Um, <laughs> oh, I hear some hesitation. You know, <laughs> I, you know I, I, I'm not a pat myself on the back type of guy. I like to be mentioned with those type of guys. They're all pretty darn good. Ronnie's kind of a hero of mine, a mentor of mine. And uh, I got a chance to see him a couple of weeks ago, and he's always going to be my top guy. Yeah. You played for the Trojans from uh, 1983 to 1986. How many times did you beat UCLA in those years, Tim McDonald? I only beat them once, but That's I don't right. like the way you say 1900 <laughs> and something. Okay, you make it seem like it was just like lifetimes ago. It was okay? mid- mid- the medieval times. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And no, I only beat UCLA one time, man. It was, uh, it was tough. You know, they had gas and green and, you know, uh, Mike Sherrard and guys like that that made it real tough on us. But uh, I was able to get them my junior year. They got us on my senior year. Tim McDonald won six Pro Bowls. He won a Super Bowl with the 49ers. 40 career interceptions. I mean, that is incredible. In 1994, you helped the 49ers win the Super Bowl. On that team, Deion Sanders, Jerry Rice, John Taylor, that team was stacked, Tim. We had a lot of good good football players. You know, I was one of the best teams that I ever was a part of. I think it was one of the best secondaries I've I've been been associated with as a player or a coach. You know, with Dion, Mert, Hanks, and Eric Davis, uh, we we really had a great year, great season, and it was it was a time to remember because we had a good time. Great teammates. You know, people. People say a lot of things about Deion Sanders during that time, but he was one of the best teammates I ever had. Great guy to play with. Uh, I want to I want to talk about the Rams in a little bit, but uh, I, I bring them up because they went to the Super Bowl, this last Super Bowl. You won a Super Bowl in 94. Uh, we talked to DeMarco Farr, the former uh, Rams player, and DeMarco said mm-hmm. it is so much harder to get back to the Super Bowl. You never got back, is that so that must be the case. Never got back. Got to, you know, it's, it, it is really tough. I mean, to have that chemistry is such a fine line. You know, you, you know, a lot of times you can look at it as a coach or, you know, guys upstairs or even as a player and say, hey, look, it's, you know, we, we, we could make a few changes and still be as good. But you just don't understand how the slightest breakup of the chemistry can be so – so vital and, and makes such a big difference in your team. You just never know exactly what it is, but when you catch it, you got to ride it. And a lot of guys want to try to improve it. 
you know, improve maybe a position here, a position there. Guys come, guys go, guys, you know, uh, guys are a, a little, little older, but it's, it's hard to regain that same chemistry that led to that run. You uh, played with the Phoenix Cardinals, so you had a chance to play with Joe Montana. Uh, when you moved to the 49ers, you played with Steve Young. Tim McDonald, who was the best quarterback between those two? <laughs> I won't tell anybody. Um, I, against, I won't say a word to anybody. I actually I played against Joe twice, you know, before I got to the 49ers. And, and actually – he was one of the few teams that uh, I think we had a winning record against when I was with the Cardinals, 49ers. We, were, we gave him a tough time. Joe was one of the best to ever play the game. I mean, I put Joe and, and Tom Brady right up there. You know, those are two of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen. Um, um, I'm a little bit biased, so I love Steve because he was our quarterback when we won the Super Bowl. But uh, um, Joe's one of the all-time greats, if not, one of the, if not the all-time greatest we're talking to Tim McDonald. He was a six-time Pro Bowler, 40 interceptions in his career, won a Super Bowl in 1994 with the San Francisco 49ers. You had to cover Jerry Rice in practice every day. The greatest receiver of all time? I would say so. Yeah. You can't make a mistake against Jerry. Mm-hmm. You know, everything was full speed. He's one of those guys that get the full speed really, you know, exceptionally quick, and uh, he – thought every ball was catchable. No matter where it was thrown, every ball was catchable. And, uh, you know, he, he'd tell you at the line of scrimmage, if he said anything, he would say, don't miss. So if you couldn't get your hands on him, he, he knew he was gone. So that's, he's a special guy, big hands, and just probably, you said it best, the most outstanding receiver in the history of the game. Your son, TJ, was drafted by the Rams. He is now with the Miami Dolphins. He's already played six or seven seasons in the NFL. Does that make you feel old, or does it keep you young? <laughs> it makes me feel old, obviously. You know, it just seems like the other day I was out there playing. But, you know, I, I, the first five years he played in the league, I, um, I was a coach in the league. So I was on Rex Ryan's staff, and I didn't really get a chance to watch him play. So I – I've retired, and now I really get a chance to, to go watch him and, and be a bigger part of his life and, and just kind of help him through it. You know, he's he's going through some tough times in Miami right now with the coaching change. But, uh, you know, he's a strong kid, good kid, and uh, um, um, I'm excited to have a chance to watch him play now. Were you a tough dad when it came to football, or did you pretty much stay out of your son's business unless they asked for football advice? I, I, I kind of – I, I kind of stayed out of it early, actually kept him away from it. You know, TJ was a pretty good baseball player. Um, just the way I was feeling when I retired, you know, I just wanted to be away from the game. They were at that age. But after a couple of years of keeping it away from them, they looked at me like I was crazy and started asking me questions about why they're not playing. And you know, that's kind of what got me involved in coaching them. Um, but uh, I kind of accept it for what it is. You know, he enjoys the game. He's a student of it, studies at it, works hard at it. And uh, right now I try to be dad. And if he wants anything more, you know, I'll give it to him. But I try to, I try to, I try to stay out of the, the, the business of football and just talk to him about, you know, what a father would normally say to himself. Former Pro Bowler Tim, Tim McDonald on my radio show with Rick Garcia. Now, Tim, I know you grew up in Fresno, but you live in Southern California. Do you pay attention to the Rams and Chargers at all? Oh, yeah. One of my best friends is the head coach over in San Diego, uh, Anthony Land. Yes. Uh, and, so I get a chance to spend a lot of time with him. All right. So, Tim. Him, and of course, I watch the Rams. Okay. So, you got to be unbiased on this. Who's the better team? Hmm. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good one. I think the Chargers are coming. I mean, they got to get that running back signed. Yep. Anthony loves to run the football. But the Chargers, you know, they were one step away last year and happened to lose against the best team. But they, they they're going to be tough to beat. I think they're playing good defense to get everybody healthy, and um, you know they play some. You know, they 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 they, they, they got a game that you got to respect. You know, Philip Rivers can throw the ball all over the yard, and uh, um, um, Anthony is not, not not afraid to run the football. Rams, 
Rams put a lot of pressure on you defensively. I mean, they got a lot of things going, a lot of motions, a lot of movement. I mean, that team there, man, I just – from one year to the next, when they got there, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's amazing what they've done offensively, you know, from a team that couldn't move the ball to a team that's – that's tough to stop. So I, I, I think it's pretty close. You know, you could be looking at a Super Bowl matchup. Right there. Wouldn't that be something? That LA would be Super nice. Bowl, yeah. Tim, you, you coached <laughs> LA Super Bowl. You coached uh, defensive backs for both the Jets and Buffalo. How did you coach against Tom Brady? You know, we we had some pretty good games. We had a lot of success. Uh, you know, some success. I shouldn't say a lot of success. Actually, um, actually, my last year coaching there, I guess it was the year that Tom Brady was suspended the four games, first four games of the season. And we happened to play them, I think it was game four. And we went into New England and, and with the Bills and shut them out 16 and nothing. That team with Tom Brady is just tough because Tom Brady can take over a game. You know, he can go out there and spread you out. And you see that empty set. He's spreading you out and looking for matchups. And there's no, no better guy to find in matchups and, and getting the matchups he wants than Tom Brady. You can see it. You know, if he doesn't like the matchup, you'll change personnel to get the matchups you like. So he's he's tough to beat. And uh he can outscore you, he can he can he can milk the clock to keep the ball away from you. You know, he has a lot of ways he can beat you from his position. So he's it's a tough matchup no matter where you look at it and that's why I think Tom Brady is gonna go down as the best quarterback ever to play the game. Tim McDonald played uh well, let me put it this way. He played 13 seasons in the NFL, 40 career interceptions, six-time Pro Bowler, won a Super Bowl, uh, and uh, was also a USC Trojan. Tim McDonald, thanks so much for joining me on my radio show with Rick Garcia. I'm told I owe you, I, I owe you a round of golf. That would be nice. I'm going to take you up on that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tim. We appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for having me. All right.